Want to have more control with your lights? Maybe make them go on and off based on object distance? Well, this is why we're here. So like the video, subscribe, and let's roll. One way to do that is with a driver. Say in this scene, where we have a light and a cube, I can select the light, and in its setting, use the right mouse button on the power to add a driver. In the driver's property, change the expression to a 1000 if the variable is greater than 1 meter, or else make it zero in power. Thus, if we move the cube now, the light will turn off and on based on the 1 meter distance we assigned. Not gonna lie, it's a cool and fast method, but it has many problems regarding the axis restriction or the ability to copy it fast to multiple objects. And even then, it won't work the way you want it. Many lights will work together, and that's not the way to do the thing we need. Another way to get the light control is with this geometry node called Light Proximity. It's free up till now and available with a link in the description. All credits to the author for sure, and it's super easy to use. Just pay attention to the version you're running because it needs Blender 4.1 to work. The page tells you everything you need to know, so read it, and the file is super easy to work around. You can take a look at the geometry node tree on how to build this, and copying it to your project should be even easier. You just append the geometry node and use it in your scene on any object with geometry node modifier. And that's it. Use it wise. Stay sharp. Goodbye.